SLG1 is what we're going to look at today, and this this is also part of Sales and Distribution SD. It's a trans enter in SLG1 in the top left hand corner. Enter, and then you will see this Analyze Application Log. In the Analyze Application Log, you can define what you want to look for. You can look for an object, a subject, or an external ID. In this case, we're going to look at an object for called ZRevs S1. It's all totally um, customized object, this one. So you would be just looking to see anything that would be in the application log that relates to ZRevs 1. You may be interested in, it in a time restriction from a date to a date, from an hour to an hour, from a minute in an hour to another minute in an hour. And here you would define that and, and be able to uh, see what has happened on a particular time for this particular object in the application log. Or you could just look for um, logs that are triggered by a particular user if you know uh, who the user was and th at the time of the problem. Or you might know the of the offending transaction code that might have run at the time. You can define also the type of log, the class of log that you're interested in, or when the log was created. Here's th that's the execute button there. You would once you've chosen your selection criteria, you would hit the selection button there, and it would then return a screen that would display all records that fit your selection criteria. As in this case here, you can see the uh, object ID, the object text, the sub-object text, the transaction that co um, caused the record to be created, the program, and if it's read it means it's a failure in the log. It's in the, so this is what you're interested in, and the time of course when it happened who the user was would be very useful as well. As you can see here, you can uh, see what the external ID was, the object text, and you would be able to capture an idea of where things went wrong. And from this you could actually go and try and correct the problem once you know exactly in which transaction, as in this column here, the error occurred. It's a very useful tool for uh, not uh, identifying problems with particular program or custom made program um, run in sales and distribution. It's u often used by developers but it can be used as a monitoring tool by super users as well in order to get to a low lower level of detail in regards to the problem you have encountered in for the sales of certain items that have failed in the sales and distribution module in SAP. Now if there was no problem you would see that the red flag would actually be green instead of red meaning that there was uh, no failure. You, until the problem has been rectified it would remain like this and then you would be able to rerun the problem again and hopefully the red flag will disappear and become or become green. So in, in displaying the logs it's just one more monitoring tool just like using um, VX03 to see what has and what has not been built in the sales and distribution 
you can add the other tools to see what um, sales orders have been completed and are waiting or what sales orders are waiting to be completed in mode you'll see whether it was batch or dialogue processing that caused this particular error if it's dialogue you can assume that the person there was a user on in SD trying to create a sales and encountered a problem if batch processing it may have been a background job that kind where the error occurred and not due to any manual intervention There should be enough detail to identify where and when and who actually was around at the time of the problem in order to investigate it further. If it was a background job, of course, it looks like a, a problem, a bug in the program and therefore would need to be referred to the development team who created the program in the first place. And if you click on the left arrow, of the red ball, it will um, bring up a subsection and give you an idea of the error, a, a little description of the error encountered at this particular time. Problem class error in this case. So it's worth drilling down into the each record to see what the message was at the time of the error. And this can be referred to the developer when he is about to look at it. So SLG1 application log investigation. You can see the various applications or transactions that we can report errors on for this particular module sales and distribution. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, this is Super Sexy SAP. Thanks once again for being with me.